Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of our Committee Access. This week, we will visit with the brand new reporter from the Oxford Leader. Then, Addison has a problem with Meal on Wheels. And finally, Sullivan's had a major county award, all today at our Committee Access. Welcome back. Terry and I went into the Oxford Leader to visit with their brand new reporter. With the story is Terry. Hi, Bill. What do rock music, ABC News, and pet information have in common? Elise Shire. And we are at the Oxford Leader newspaper with Elise, and she's the new reporter covering Addison Township and the schools. Welcome to Oxford. Thank you. Thank you. I, I read uh, that you are interested in local reporting. What What is it about local reporting that... I love, I love that you get to focus on the positive things that happen just in your area. It always amazes me, really. You know, just the, the things that you don't always hear about, you know, in the national news. It's it, They're just so... It's so inspirational to me um, to learn about people in my area and the things that they're doing and, um, you know, it never ceases to amaze me, really. The small things that people do yes. for each other in a yes. small town. And yeah. yeah, charity and, and otherwise. Right, right, I hear what you're saying, working for public access, that's my passion. Mm -hmm. You did do, not national news, but you did do a larger city news. How does it differ um, as far as the just the camaraderie that you have it, within your own working environment as well as the community? I would just say that there's a, a much stronger focus on the positive things that happen, um, you know, in the area versus when I was at Flint, obviously, the, the attention was always more on the, the things that would happen, the negative things, the crime, um, and so it, it was just uh, that I would say that the feeling of community is just much stronger at the smaller level, which is my my favorite. I love focusing on positive things. I imagine there's a lot more apathy in a larger environment. Absolutely, absolutely. And in, in terms of um, you know just the things that you hear, you know, on a regular basis, mm -hmm. um, it, it's. It, there are so many negative things that you just kind of do become accustomed to hearing it, and that's uh, that's why it's been kind of nice being at the smaller level mm -hmm. and focusing more on the positive things as well. Right. So I mentioned pet information, so we need to touch on that. That's basically how you got interested in journal journalism, as you started a pet column for pet I, information. What I would do is I would make. Um, I would just make this little fake newspaper every week um, for the benefit of my family. Um, and it was always, you know, just I'd draw these little pictures to go along with it. And, um, you know, I would just kind of come up with these crazy stories um, about, say, there was one um, where some pets threw a party while the people were gone. And, um, you know, they, they came home to a, a messy house. Oh, right. So, yeah, just yeah. just silly, Cute. silly stories. The things and, that do happen. Yeah, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm sure. And, um, you know, so it was really just it, for my benefit. I've, I've always loved reading. I've always loved writing. And um, that was kind of an outlet for me starting out. And, um, yeah. And so you went into journalism at Flint, uh, in Flint, MSU Flint, or excuse me, Michigan? I, yeah, I went to uh, U of M Flint U of M for Flint. school. Yep. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And uh, that kind of was a lead into me going at uh, to uh, you, uh, yes, ABC 12 nice. in Flint. Mm -hmm. So that environment at um, a news station, most people just want to stay in that environment. It's so active and, and it can lead to bigger and better things. Did you have that opportunity? I did. Um, and I, you know, I, I like I said, I because I, I was actually at the Clarkston News before, um, I oh, came previous here. previous to Flint. Oh, yes, okay. previous to Flint. Okay. And okay, so, so I kind Flint. of had already had that attraction to the local news, mm -hmm. um, very local news. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, when I went to ABC 12, it was still very, you know, it was, it was hectic. It was interesting. I, I do love to, to work and, and work quickly. Um, but... I, I still thing. had, yeah, <laughs> but I still had, um, you know, just that that general love for for very home. local, yes, home. And you're from the Clarkston area, so mm -hmm. you actually were raised in a sort of small town. I know they call it a mm -hmm. city, but yes, yep. sort of a small town. You also did work at the um, Southfield school system. 
And what did you do there? I was at Southfield Public Schools for about a year, and I worked in the PR department there. Um, so I really just helped, um, you know, like uh, send out some of the stories from the students in the area mm -hmm. and, and focus mm -hmm. on the, the cool things they were doing there. So, um, yeah, so I, I just did a lot of the, the pitching, story pitching and mm -hmm. all of that. So. Right. So it's very appropriate that you're going into reporting on our school system. Mm -hmm. What do you think will, will be your biggest challenge in that? The biggest challenge is simply just for me at the moment learning everybody's names, you know, just kind right. of becoming uh, part of that community, I guess, mm -hmm. more intertwined um, just because I did spend so long with, you know, Southfield specifically, and right. so now I need to do the same thing with the Oxford area right. and the Oxford schools, so... Well, I will tell you, they're very welcoming and, and um, easy to communicate with. So I think you'll have some pretty good luck there. Mm -hmm. How about Edison Township? Have you been able to meet everybody out there yet? Yep, yeah, I've been good. able to meet quite a few people there, Bruce Pearson, other um, people in that area as well. And everybody has just been so welcoming. And, um, you know, you would never guess that I am from Clarkston because everybody's just been so, so inviting. Now, that's a small community, and, and um, it's probably no secret to anybody. That was my beat at one time. Um, what do you think will be of interest to you as far as the, the community is concerned? Now it's a, the small Leonard and then the larger portion of Addison Township. What is it that you really want to dig into out there? I think um, for me it's just going to be a new experience um, because I am from Clarkston, which is a little bit more, you know, they're more focused on development and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, Addison is a very open, beautiful area, and so I think it's it's going to be interesting for me to kind of see the opposite side mm -hmm. of the development coin, if you, if, you know, if you will. But sure. mm -hmm. um, it, it's just going to be interesting to see a different way of living, uh, you know, than I'm used to with Clarkston, so... And bring that beauty to us as the reader. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I mm -hmm. have confidence that you'll do that. <laughs> you seem to look at it with open, an open mind. Mm -hmm. Yes, I love learning new things about new people and new areas, and I love challenges. So, you know, it'll be it'll be very nice to to kind of have another place to call home. And so, um, we look forward as readers to features, um, you know, little feature articles. What is of interest to you? Is it history or is it um, maybe one personal accomplishment within a community or um, what our DDA is doing or what would be of particular interest in our community? Um. Well, just coming from my experience with um, with Southfield Public Schools, I, I loved to see what, what the younger, you know, people within mm -hmm. the area do. It just, it amazes me how at such a young age people can have such a, you know, a commitment to helping others mm -hmm. and, you know, always want to go above and beyond with things. And it's just, to me, you know, specifically with the students, I think, is going to be a very interesting um, thing to, to focus good, on. Good, 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 mm -hmm. good. We, we love to read about it and we love to have more publicity for them and what they're doing. Mm -hmm. There's so many things within the school that the kids are doing that we don't always have the chance to see. Mm -hmm. So, yay, I'm glad you're going to dive in and I'm going to invite everybody in this community to stop by the Oxford Leader newspaper and you know where they're at, right on 24, and say hi to Elise. And she's really easy to talk to, so when she wants a story, give it to her. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having us here today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh -huh. Welcome, Elsie. We look forward to reading your stories about the Oxford Leader. Next up, Addison has a problem at Addison on Meals on Wheels. With that story, again, is Terry. Hi, Bill. I don't know how many people will recognize this backdrop, but we are out at the Senior Center in Addison Township, and I'm with Pat Schnur, the caretaker of the seniors in Addison, pretty much. You, she really keeps a good eye on the, the seniors in Addison. And there's a couple things I want to come out and talk with Pat about, but first off, tell me what's going on with Meals on Wheels. Oh, Meals on Wheels is losing all its drivers now. In this in the, area? In this area, and uh, we've got an increased number of people homebound. Uh, and in order to uh, deliver their meals every day, we need new drivers. 
So right now, how many drivers are trying to cover the Addison area? One driver and the people from OPC. Oh my goodness. And it's, you know, at the edge of Oakland County. Right. We've got one lady right on the edge. Oh my goodness. And so, the, I'm not sure if a lot of people are familiar with the process. The driver has to go to Rochester, right, OPC? No. no. Where does the food come from? Well, you, you, you call there and then they, they check well, you out to make sure you're a uh, nice person. And, uh, <laughs> Legitimate. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and uh, then uh, you'll be picking up your meals at uh, uh, Lakeville Road and Hosner, right at that community church, right oh, in the right. parking mm -hmm. lot. Okay. And then you have about an hour drive. Different Driving places around you the go, community. Yeah. And it might take you maybe a half an hour longer if you con converse with the people. Sure. And this is what makes the Which difference. Which is, yes. They take the meal, they set the meal down, and they would rather interface and talk with you. Sure. So if we right. can do that yeah. somewhat, mm -hmm. so that you don't, you know, spend a lot of time there, but you spend some time Right, there. right. Well, you've got some warm meals in the car, so right. you need to move on. Right. Um, so it's a volunteer position, right? right? Mm -hmm. Helping your neighbors out, which is what Addison Township is all right. about for sure. How do people get involved with this? You contact OPC in Rochester. Okay, Old and Persons yes. Center. And I right. have the phone number right okay, here. Okay, then I'll keep this and I'll put it on the screen. OPC in Rochester. Okay, and uh, the thing is, <clears throat> if you live in this community, you tend to mix with the people who live in the community mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you want to make a difference. If you're retired or you're bored or whatever. Right. You are making a difference not only for yourself, but for the people that you work with. Oh, agreed. Right. And it's true. You're making it makes the you load. feel wonderful. Mm -hmm. And you, when you see their eyes light up and how glad they are just to be talking to you, yeah. it's, it's worth it. Do you have a kind of an estimated figure of how many people out here are using that service? Uh, I think it's 10 right now. Wow, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. So one person right now is There's only one person serving the food. People, the people who, uh, there are two ladies who work at uh, OPC and they come to the church in Oxford and then the food is heated and brought to us. And then how many days a week is that? It's five days a week. Five days, Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. What do those people do on the weekends? They get a cold meal and they, they heat it up. Oh, okay. Like so they're, we're sure that they're getting food Absolutely. for seven days a week. I had an experience this past week, though, that was kind of unusual. <laughs> this gentleman uh, is a vet, and he's uh, lost both his legs. Oh the last my. leg, the first in the war, and the second leg he lost uh, through diabetes oh. just recently. Sure. Mm -hmm. Wonderful man. Anyway, they didn't deliver his cold meal. They delivered his milk and bread and then his meal, hot meal. And I said, oh no, I'm so sorry, I'll report it immediately. So yeah. I did. And then I went to the next home. And this lady and her mother were not there. Mm -hmm. And I could not deliver, it says right here, you cannot deliver the meal if they're not, if there. Don't, if they're not there. Sure. So I said, oh, this is unbelievable. There you go. So I went right back to <laughs> this gentleman's home uh -huh. and gave him the two meals. So uh -huh. he had his next meal. That's and great. And one for the next uh -huh. time. So it worked out it, great. It does work out great. Yep. See, that's yep. that's once you're starting to, that ball rolling of taking care of people, it just kind of takes care of itself, it does, doesn't, doesn't it? it? Yep. Yeah. It was so wonderful. what what we're really asking is for volunteers in Addison Township or even in Oxford. It's not that far to drive out here. Come out here, help out, and get some of those meals delivered. Now you're you're um, you said when we first got here, you said people are starting to come into the new senior center. Mm, they are. Is, there's activities going on in here now? There, we're going to start activities on Fridays. We have artwork. Uh, and there's a man in here. He yeah. will teach you how to paint and so forth and provide you with materials to start you out. My goodness sake. So it's a free thing. Yes. Just to be here and mm -hmm. have social activities. Yes, and it's wonderful. You can, you can uh, paint all different uh, things like Oils, acrylics, oh, so different. and Chinese art, things oh, like that, wow. all, all different kinds of art. Wow, that's so. wonderful. And this and is then, something that uh, Mary Lee Road has done, this lady right here in the back. She's a wonderful artist. And then Jerry, he does a lot of art, and I do Chinese. I like Chinese. Do you? Yeah. Oh, so. well, we'll have to come out here and have you show us that one day. So it'll be, it'll be fun. Yeah. Sure.
And then, then, now we've got a new lady who came in uh, this past month, she and her husband, and she's a quilter. Oh, she made okay, so she's things, showing yeah. people how to do that. And she'll come in and show people too. So. so there's all kinds of things happening at the activity center here, the senior center in Addison Township. It's nice to see that it's going again, and it's Sorry. always nice to talk to you. Nice to talk to you we'll keep in touch on the um, Meals on Wheels. And okay. Just call and volunteer. Let's help somebody take care of this situation in Addison. Next up, Sullivan's Public House had a wonderful award with this story is again, Terry. Well, I'm at Sullivan's Public House. Always a fun place for me to be. Jerry's with me today, Jerry Cremins. I'm sure by this time everybody knows his face. And I came down here to talk to Jerry about your new award yes, from yes. Main Street. Main Street Open County, uh, I believe it was two weeks ago now. Um, they, um, they had an award show um, that's put on every year by Elbrooks Brooks Patterson and uh, Bob Dodd, he was the MC, mm -hmm. and uh, it was great, great turnout it was at the Royal Oak Music Theatre, I believe is, 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 the, is the name of it. Um, yeah. You know, with here, I, I don't get out very often, so I have the name wrong. <laughs> no, you have But, uh, um, <laughs> yes, so they put on the award show, um, and we were in the category for Outstanding Business of the Year, um, and uh, we ended up winning it, so it's, it's, uh, it's an amazing honor, you know, it's, it's just, uh, I mean, you know, when you're recognized by your peers in the community mm -hmm. and, and by your, your guests and your colleagues um, daily as you're doing something right, it's, uh, it's nice to have something to be able to, uh, to look at and, and to, to remind you of you know, how far you've come and, and, right. um, and in a short amount of time, I mean, come July, we'll, years, yeah, right? well, well, come July will only be two years. So. Two, okay. So, yeah, so we're... Uh, See, we're you're, you're so settled in our community, it seems like you've <laughs> been here forever. Trust, yeah, I feel like I've been here for 20. Yeah, um, yeah. But it's, uh, every day is, and that's what's good about, uh, and that's why we love doing what we do, and, uh, you know, we, we come in here every day, it's, it's either my wife uh, and business partner, Jamie, uh, that's here, or, or me. Mm -hmm. Uh, we balance off the, the duties of the household and uh, and uh, and our two and a half, or sorry, three-year-old child. Um, you can edit that. And out, soon obviously. to be another. And soon to be another. Yes, yeah. uh, we have a boy on the, on his way uh, due date August fifth. So mm -hmm. um, we're attempting to have enough kids where we can staff the restaurant with the family and <laughs> and have a, a lower payroll. Good idea. <laughs> child and have labor. a soccer no. team too, right? <laughs> well, we completely do not support child labor. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it's it's a, you know so it's a, I actually C J Carnaccia, mm -hmm. um, I believe I pronounced the name right. He, you, uh, yeah, awesome guy. Yeah. Uh, a good supporter of us, and he um, he came and, and did a photo shoot that appeared mm -hmm. uh, this past Wednesday in the Oxford Leader, and uh, you know um, he said, you know, what does the award mean to us? And mm -hmm. as I mentioned, you know, just being uh, yeah, for honestly for us, it's you know we're an amazing community, and even without awards or, or anything like that, a recognition. You know, not to sound corny, but you know, the smile on people's faces right. when they have a great dinner and and uh -huh. and, uh, and they're surrounded by great company, and you know, we get to be a part of that. That's kind of uh, again being uh, all lifetime or, or um, on you. That's that's kind of the reward itself. Yes, so, absolutely. Um, and well, you said, wouldn't Jamie, be in this business, I don't. Yeah, think. no, yeah. Well, I guess it helps. I was raised in this business. You know, my parents own pubs in Ireland, so I kind of. Uh, I started off at the age of 13 and, you know, been doing it ever since, so luckily uh, my wife Jamie is, uh, she's as passionate as I am, mm -hmm. so right. we definitely balance each other out. Uh, well, that, so. that award you got is quite an honor, the depth and the breadth of main, the Main Street community oh, to yes. begin with. Yeah. It's not just a local mm -hmm. organization, that's national. Yes, And yes, so yeah. really, and the people that are involved in that go nationally mm -hmm. and look and see what's up and coming. Yeah. And so you're you're not. It's just not your peers. Yeah. They're comparing you to what they've seen throughout the country. So yeah. be it's, proud. It's, it's a great benchmark. I mean, it's, we're proud. you know, yeah, we're, it's a great benchmark. You know, in a mm -hmm. sense, um, you know, we recently. Um, uh, when I say we, the Village of Oxford, the, mm -hmm. the DDA, um, you know, we have Joe Frost, the executive director, who's uh, 
who's been an amazing um, catalyst of, of mm -hmm. positive change and uh, obviously with the support of Joe Young and so uh, now we see the executive director which is always nice for us as a community and, uh, and, and business owners to see mm -hmm. the executive director actually pounding the pavement yes. and, and meeting business owners rather than sitting mm -hmm. behind a, a desk and, mm -hmm. and punching keys on a, on a keyboard so he's definitely um, which I love you know it's that's my mm -hmm. my my mentality when it comes to business, you know, you can, you know, sit at your desk and try to punch numbers and control costs as right. much as you can, but um, you have to which is it. a big part of it. But you have to be on the floor right. in order to to, to drive Experience success too. And, mm -hmm. and so yeah, I mean, it's 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 amazing, you know, and it's and I know this, you know, for me, it's great, you know, getting an award like this and. Um, you know, as I said, as Jamie pointed out in the Oxford Leader, I mean, there's so many amazing businesses in Oakland County, and, and and let's be honest, I mean, Oakland County is nice is, is the, in my opinion, I'm, I'm from New York well, and, and in Ireland, so what yeah. would I know? But in my opinion, I mean, you know, you've got mm -hmm. the Royal Oaks and you've got the right, Rochesters, right. and you've got, so it's it's a huge, uh, huge honor to to be given a business in, in such a mm -hmm. vast mass of uh, of an area with so many great businesses. So. For us, you know, it's great to win the award, but the key is to keep it going, to, mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, Not sit back on your laurels. Yes, exactly. And I made a joke, actually, uh, to, to CJ, you know, he said, and I, and my, I said to him, well, it's always nice to have something to hang on your walls. And it's a joke, but it's, I mean, it's not because, mm -hmm. you know, for me, you know, we have a lot of wall space here and, and my goal is to, to fill it with as many as these as humanly possible and to really just you know, show the people of, of Oxford and the surrounding areas that, you know, we take this very serious and um, and we're really swinging for the fence on everything we do, uh, which is, you know, we're launching our new seasonal menu, which will be in addition to our regular menu, just for a little uh, uh, diversity, a little, um, mm -hmm. you know, added um, flavors and, and menu items, just so we don't grow stale. So that's the little. way we think, mm -hmm. you know, continuously. Right. and. Uh, and, um, well, yeah, let's find so. out a little bit about you. Okay. Because uh, initially you said you've got a three and a half year old mm -hmm. at home. Yep. Jamie is, is due in August. It's August 5th, yeah. You yeah. have a business that you both have put everything into. Yeah, there's a few tears around the <laughs> blood around the ground <laughs> I somewhere. Imagine <laughs> I, and that's not all. I yeah. mean, you're involved in the community yes. besides. You're mm -hmm. on the DDA board. Yes. Uh, you also do some announcing for us. For soccer, yes. Um, yes. You didn't just say I'm going to open a business downtown Oxford because it's a cute place. No, no. It's you know for what what makes you tick. Well, for what makes me tick really is you know as I said I grew up in the business. Mm -hmm. um, you know I've, um, I've I feel like I've been in the business you know 50 years uh, and it's just for me it, it was always a dream to own uh, my own restaurant mm -hmm. and, and uh, you know I always made comments that I'd like to build uh, my portfolio of ownership the way my resume was and you know I, uh, I had the fortunate um, um, ability to work for some amazing places in New mm -hmm. York so I'd love to at some day you know um, own a you know, I can't give away my business plans, but uh, own a, 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 a nice white step tablecloth. Step it up. Yes, you want yes, to step yes. it up. And uh, eventually own a, a small hotel uh, would be a, uh, an amazing thing. Um, and for me, I, when I first opened here, you know, look at the village of Oxford. I mean, it's like starting any business, you know. Um, it, for me, it's, it's not just... You know, I came in here, or I came to Michigan with the thoughts of opening an Irish pub straight away. I just felt like the demographic of mm -hmm. Oxford and um, its heritage. With uh, the last time I looked at the the, the reports, where I think there was 13% uh, had English heritage, mm -hmm. so there mm -hmm. it's like 12% Welsh, and then 10 or 11% Irish. So there was a huge Western right. European mm -hmm. um, right. demographic and, and heritage here. So Very that's smart. why, and the closest authentic Irish pub, uh, or Irish pub in general, that I would deem was um, in Rochester. So it seemed oh, like right. a right move to make. It was far enough. Um, mm -hmm. So. Um, but it, it just, it, it was awesome. I mean, I, I, I do, it's, Oxford's fun. I'm a huge movie fan. Having a movie theater down the street is awesome. <laughs> uh, but as far as making me tick too, um, as you said, you know, Jamie and I are here however many hours a week. Um, mm -hmm. They all blend together the weeks. But sure. um, it's, it's also, because um, we know what we put into it. And 
you know, I do, um, you know, recently I was, um, you know, we don't open for lunch Monday through Friday, mm -hmm. so I have no mm -hmm. problem giving a shout out to another local business. Mm -hmm. um, I subscribe to the Detroit Area Chefs uh, Facebook oh, uh, feed and, and page or blog, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. I used to be really tech savvy, and I think the millennials are taking me over. Um, it happens or fast. Taking over, yeah. Right. Or, yeah. So, but um, there's, you know, so for us, knowing the, what, we, what we put into it, you know, um, there's such a small success rate in the restaurant industry, so right. um, I know that uh, a place um, is a Parkside restaurant. Is that what it's called uh, over there mm -hmm. um, by the park mm -hmm. near Lake Orion? Mm -hmm. um, so um, I know that's you know. So I, I want to support local businesses sure. too, and I want mm -hmm. to help everyone. So I wanted to give a shout out because I know that they were looking to revamp their menu and, and drive more business. So. Um, because the reason I bring it up, knowing how difficult this restaurant industry is, um, I don't like, and I, failure is not an option to me, so mm -hmm. um, I'd like to help. Um, and being part of the DDA is a big thing too, so that's why I'm part sure, of it, is right. actually to build businesses. And, right. and that's why I love doing what we do, is because I think we're unique, you know, we're approaching 10,000 followers, and we're ever gonna, gonna have a big party on, um, when that when we hit that. And so that for me and, and is we're bringing more attention to Oxford and um, you know I just want to start building this up building it up building it up and, well you know um, that empty lot down there by Sisters mm -hmm. Hair Care used yeah. to be a hotel yes, I'm sure you've yes. seen pictures oh, of right, the right next door? Yeah, 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 yeah right so you could kind of Maybe thinking those oh, terms trust me, too. I've, 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 I don't I've thrown some lines in the water in that good, one. Good, good. Um, but uh, as I said, right now, I mean, the, I believe the, the price of the lot they're looking for is half a million. Ah. And uh, you know, in this economy, especially huh, um, yeah. with you know, and I hate to look forward to certain things or, or not look forward to certain things, but you know, we're going to have the impending um, improvements on 24 here oh, on yeah. the Oxford area. So, you know, looking ahead as far as construction and. Uh, I don't think that's yes. a smart investment when that's right. approaching. Oh no, so I mean, ten, yeah, ten years down the road, I think that could be a really viable uh, opportunity, and uh, and I would love to put a small B and B, you know, English mm -hmm. style old, control, you know, into that area because uh, when I got married here in 2010. Um, you know, my we had tons of people come over from Ireland, from oh, New right. York. Where did you put them? This, we yeah. put them up in the the they call it the Red Roof and now across from. Um, oh yeah. Uh, Home Depot. Home Depot. So mm -hmm. um, that was, it's kind of, it's annoying. I mean, you know, nothing against Red Roof Inn. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm sure no. they do a very good job, but, you know, for me, too you far. know, having a place like that downtown where they can mm -hmm. go out of the rooms, you know, travel the surrounding area, right. spend their money in stores and restaurants. Nice and, yeah. 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 and uh, you know, it's, it's. Uh, I think it'd be a really nice opportunity for them. Well, the we already business. have an ordinance for a bed and breakfast in okay. town. It's okay. already set up, so whenever you're ready. Hey, I'll tell you what, you know, if if the, if, if the local area, Oxford and the village or township, want to, you know, pony up a few dollars like they did for the, the <laughs> White Horse Inn, uh, I, I'd yeah, be fully into it. It, yeah. it would definitely make the opportunity a lot more feasible. But, uh, <laughs> but as I said, I really don't. Even if they were, I mean, I, I'm a little concerned about the, the road construction right. from a, a huge investment like yes. that because mm -hmm. I think. Uh, the lot half a million. I think you're probably looking at the 3.5 to 5 million build out for that. So yeah, right. Um, right. But anyway, that's that's down the road. And but we are looking for expansion, and uh, and that's why I definitely talk about these things. So, so. well, good. We're going to have to keep in touch with you and talk yeah. about what's coming closer down the road yep. again. And again, this is just outstanding and I don't mean to play on words there but no, we're really, uh, I think everybody in Oxford is very proud of yeah, no, we, this we're establishment. Blessed to, yeah, we're blessed to where we, we are and honestly we wouldn't be anything without uh, uh, first of all, you know, you need colleagues in here before you open to train, and without the colleagues and without the amazing right. guests, right. That's, I mean, we we can do what we do, and we do stay open because of our regular clientele, which um, we work their family. You know, they come in, they get hugs, coming in, hugs, right. leaving, and and uh, that's how we view them. You know, so. Um, well, you you definitely yeah. are part of the family, and, <laughs> and we're very happy to have you I'm, and yeah, have you stay around in Oxford. Oh, I'll be here for a long time. Okay. I made jokes. The bank's got me for 
We're open oh, good. 20 more years oh, at least. So. <laughs> well, thanks, Jerry, for of talking course. No, to us. Thank you very much for wanting to do this. Congratulations again. Thank and you. Yeah. Keep us informed on the baby. I will, for sure. Yeah. Back to you, Bill. I'm going to have some water <laughs> at Sullivan's. Dennis, actually. But no, but she can't say that on here. <laughs> good job, Jerry. By the way, Jerry is also our announcer on soccer on OCTV. How about that? Well, that's all the time for this week. We hope you enjoyed our program. So for our reporter and editor, Terry Stiles, I'm Bill Service, and you have a great, great week.